I'm Jen Nero Moffitt. I'm the director of husbandry at the Birch Aquarium at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. We had a really great opportunity to acquire a juvenile loggerhead sea turtle from the South Carolina Aquarium Sea Turtle Rescue Hospital. The turtle has rear flipper paralysis, meaning that she cannot move her flippers at all. And you'll see that she has scoliosis in the rear of her shell. Because of that, she won't be able to survive in the wild. So on November 19th, we went to the South Carolina Aquarium, worked with the animal health team there and the husbandry team to learn how they take care of her. Uh, we got to uh, learn a little bit about each one of the turtles and then specifically the loggerhead that we were taking back home. So we got to feed it. We uh, got to observe how it uh, was target trained so that it could compete with the fish that it will be living with in our exhibit. We prepared the shipping crate for bringing the turtle back. They had a lot of volunteer staff and they signed the inside of the crate, all the folks that worked with that turtle, a little goodbye notes for her. So then we had the turtle moved into the crate and onto the van and took her to Charleston International Airport. And we flew with Delta Airlines and uh, the staff at Delta were just amazing. They helped us get on the tarmac and uh, see the turtle get into the plane. When the sea turtle arrived, we put her into a holding space to assess her for her swimming ability, how well she's feeding, uh, to work on some feeding techniques, basically general assessment of her health. And it also allows for time for the sea turtle to uh, get used to the space as well as the biologists to work with her closely. Sea turtles worldwide are considered a threatened or endangered animal. One of the biggest threats, while it might be shocking, is not sharks, but is human interaction with fishing line, nets, boat strikes. And one major issue is marine debris could be anything from your birthday party balloons to plastic bags. It's our hope that this turtle inspires people to make a difference in their own behaviors. What happens to sea turtles is impacted through what you do on land and what you do on water.